The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. I should speak up. Huh? You look different when you're not trying to talk someone down from igniting a barrel of rune powder. Chuck your questions at Walbrun. That's his job. I can make time for chatter after you know what's what. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst-case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change. Freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Perhaps. All the more reason to get rid of them. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the Watchers are on us like flies on shit. Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A rune powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility, and boom. Problem solved. Fine. You want to try flapping your gums in the belly of the beast? Be my guest. But their idea of diplomacy is a steel fist shoved where the sun don't shine. So take the bomb. Just in case I'm right and you're wrong. As long as you see sense, I don't care when you see it. The foundry is in the lower city. Down by the docks. Beautiful building. Belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. Now you've spoken to the big man, good to see you. Never thought I'd meet you again, let alone fight on the same side. 
Glad we both made it out of Grimforge alive. And that I didn't have to use that rune powder to make a point. Funny. You're gonna need that sense of humor here. I overheard you're gonna be helping us fight the good fight. Knew I would have regretted blowing you up. Better get on with it then. Walbrun wouldn't have put his trust in you for nothing. You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. Only if you're quick. Now let me get back to it. Two days just to get hold of a still watcher optic module. And for what? Waste of time we don't have. Still alive. So that's progress. Oh, come to finish the job. Finish this. I can't stand the pain any longer. Get this blade out of me. Use it. Kill me. Kill me now. There's something strange about the man dying before your eyes. Though in agony, he seems to be enjoying this. What are you doing? Stop! No! Ah! Ah! Ha ha <laughs> Stop it! That tickles. I see how you slip slither closer, belly dragging in the filth. Father is laughing at you. Even with your head neat tumbled, you tickle and torture so brutishly. A blunt and tasteless slaughter. Oh, do not worry, slaughterkin. My blades are still sharp and sweet. They will greet you soon enough. She's toying with me. What does she want? Moonrise Towers, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like those two are about to fight. Nobody messes with the Stone Lord, Rattling. Nine Fingers sent her love, asshole. Your Stone Lord's a dead man walking. You, help me kill these asses. The guild will sprinkle you with gold. You picked the wrong side, cock. Slice them! Slice them now! You did good, stranger. Someone had tried to slink away rather than get involved. They wouldn't earn the gratitude of the guild. One usually follows the other. Here you go. A new flavor of scum that's been muscling in on our business. Agents of the Stone Lord.
Nobody actually knows. Word is he's big, dense, tough as rocks, but human, we think, and definitely ruthless. Traitorous little gutter snipe! I'll cut you to awful! <laughs> If you're a customer, go down to this shop. Otherwise, clear off. Been poking around downstairs, have you? Well, I've got nothing to hide. Those gnomes are victims. They spent years in exile, no forge to call their own, all because of some ancient bloody grudge. The Gondians Think they're the only ones fit to swing a hammer round here. They're wrong. One day they'll learn that the hard way. Until that happens, I'll give those iron hands a roof over their heads. Nothing wrong with it. Now clear off. If you want anything else, go to the shop. I've got work to do. Seems simple enough. Seems like a good moment to talk. Would everyone please stop going on about the Absolute's army? Lord Gortash is going to sort it all out. You'll see. Mummy keeps talking about some army, but she won't tell me anything about it. I'm not a baby. The Absolute army is on our doorstep. You want to live? Get out of here before it's too late. Don't wander around Rivington alone, all right? My husband did and got mugged and beaten for his trouble. Can I help you? Oh, bloody ribs. Sorry, mate. Had a run in with a mugger. If you need something, ask the missus. Bet you her Boulder's gate was safe, right? Well, it's a bloody lie. They've banned refugees from the city as if we're the problem. If you're looking to enter the city, hope your pockets are loaded. Bastards are charging a fortune. If you are in the market for potions, I highly recommend the Velveteen Elixir. I've not been this well stocked since Waterdeep. You look like you need to clean off the road dirt, <laughs> almost as much as I do. No good ends with hot water in a tub on this side of the crossing, though. I ain't looking to make friends or enemies. Go bother someone else. If you're after a job, Neverwinter is on the lookout for adventurers. That's where we're headed. They stick to the refugee camp outsider, where you belong. Great. 
Another bloody outsider. You lot are coming out of the walls, aren't you? I'm not supposed to talk to outsiders. Keep a sharp eye out. Red caps are on the loose. One's deemed too violent to work. And not one of these circus folks seem bothered by it. All this kerfuffle over missing red caps. Yes, we'd caged them due to unruly behavior. But as our red cap cleaners demonstrate, most are perfectly harmless. If I hire the refugees, then I get cheap labor and they get coin. It's a good deal for everyone. If my friend tries to get you to invest, kindly turn her down. She doesn't need the encouragement. The guard is busy with their patrol and has no time for idle chatter. we're going. What kind of inn is it? Will there be feather beds? <sighs> Can't talk. I'm sorry. The little one needs all of my attention. We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. 